I'm out here at the lake working on something I'm really excited about. We're going to be building this big platform or kind of like a deck for a permanent tent setup. It's really gonna change the way we stay here and I'm super pumped about it. So let me show you where we're gonna build this thing. Oh, look at that. It's already mostly built. Yeah, we came here last week and did most of this. I'm just here to finish it up. Let me show you what we're doing. We are building this 10 by 10 platform using only screws and drills. Actually, we're making four of these and we're gonna make one big platform for this. The cost to build a single one of these tent platforms was 550 of new material. Prices seem to be changing all the time. You can track those or look for reclaimed material. There's a couple of reasons we used only screws on this build. And one of the reasons is it's pretty simple. You only need a driller driver, which most people have. And I wanted to show you that you can build a ground level deck with uh, only one tool really. We did have to use a saw for a couple things here, um, but you could probably get away with just using one tool for this build. The other reason is screws makes this a lot more flexible. If plan changed, we'll be able to back the screws out and take this apart and repurpose the wood. We start off by just screwing together a box out of two by sixes to make the first 10 by 10 section and square it up. So we measure corner to corner and they should match. And that's 172 to 171. So it's not quite square. You gotta bump it till it's square. All the joists will be hung using joist hangers, which could be fastened using nails, but we're going to use these joist hanger screws. making this in four 10 by 10 sections. This will make it kind of just easier to build. It also means we can repurpose these 10 by 10 sections. We can take the sections apart and just move them somewhere else on the property and use them as decks or other tent platforms for smaller tents. The toughest part of this build is definitely the foundation. This would be way easier on a flat surface. If you have a flat surface, you just put down some deck blocks or some gravel and just put this down right on top of it. We went with nine footings, one on each corner of the 10 foot sections. It's just less leveling and less work making footings. A laser level is handy for setting the height. We found the lowest footing and measured the difference between that footing and the other ones. Then it's just a matter of cutting the 4x4s to those heights and setting them in. And that's where we had to use a saw. If you had flat ground, you wouldn't really have to do that. It's the next day now and we start laying deck boards. We slept in our normal tent on a quarter of the platform. It's crazy to think that the next tent will be four times this size. I want to point out that we did double up the beam that the joists are hanging on and we screwed the four platforms together to make one big platform for our tent. It's still a little bouncy, but I'm hoping the decking helps tie it together a little. I had to pick up some extra boards because the wood we ordered had some pretty bad ones and we didn't get enough to cull properly. The decking is pretty straightforward, but it feels like it takes a long time. Here's a not so fun story. I've been using these as spacers for the deck boards, kind of like that. And last week I was kind of in a rush and I was just leaving these everywhere and I got one of these most of the way into my calf and that sucked. It's okay, I got a tetanus shot, I'll be fine. Lesson learned though, keep these face down. step is bonus. There are minor differences between the deck board lengths, so just a quick pass with the saw and some sealant on the ends makes it look a little better. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It's a little spongy. If I could build it again, I'd maybe use 2x8 or 2x10 framing material or just make more footings. You can forgive a little bit of bounce. It's a tent platform. It's going to work great for the tent. In the next video, we're going to be setting up the tent on this and it's going to be incredible. I'm excited for that. It's going to totally change the way we stay here. See you next time.